Hi, my name's Dave and I just love to talk about the best music and albums from the 60s onwards to newbies and devotees alike. And in this video, I'm looking again at the David Bowie album Hunky Dory and rating each of the tracks. More of that in a minute, but first, if you would like to know when new videos are released, please click the subscribe button. So I have recently done a review of the album in general, as well as playing each side of the album in my Listen Along sessions. Now to complete the album, I will now rank the individual tracks from first to worst. At 11, it's Eight Line Poem. It's really a filler track, bridging those two big songs, and doesn't do a lot for me. At 10, it's Fill Your Hearts, the one cover track on the album, and whilst there are some good saxophone sections on this one, that's where it ends for me. At 9, Oh You Pretty Things. This is the song that Bowie gave away to Peter Noon. It's a good pop song. At 8, Song for Zimmerman. This really should be higher, but it's a result of my dislike for Bob Dylan. At 7, Kooks is a whimsical and light song. It does tell a good story though. You won't be sorry, cause we believe in you. At 6, Changes is again a song that might be higher on a different day. Strong piano, but quite light vocally. Into the top five now, and it's Andy Warhol, and this is a brilliant insight into the celebrity world of the man. At number four, Queen Bitch pays tribute to the Velvet Underground and gives us a sneak peek at what Ziggy looks like. At three, Quicksand gives us an insight into the progressive side that was well within Bowie. It's a great track. At two, Life on Mars was a toss-up with the number one, but it's a beautiful track that found success when released second time around. At number one, it's the brilliant The Bewley Brothers, this progressive, dark, deceptive track that is a standout of his writing skills of the time. So there you have it, Hunky Dory ranked tracks worst to first. If you've enjoyed this video, click the like button. And to buy the album or support the channel further, please find details in the description box below. On screen now is a link to my full review of the album and also other David Bowie reviews and reactions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.